Article 7 is an infringement procedure at the disposal, uh, at the disposal of uh, the European Commission to, punction, to punish or sanction EU member states who are out of line with EU law in the area of fundamental freedoms and rule of law. Now, it's dubbed the nuclear option because it's never actually been used before. In order for it to be executed, EU member states in the capitals of the European Union countries would actually have to give it uh, the green light. But it was set up some 18 uh, years ago to give the European Commission that legal ammunition that it needed. There's two parts to it. One is the European Council would give a warning to that member state in question, and number two, they would actually strip them of their voting rights in council. Now, in Parliament, two-thirds of the chamber of the 751 MEPs would need to back it. Now, Judith Sargentini is a Dutch MEP from the Green Party. She's the lady who's been putting uh, pen to paper over the last couple of months and visiting Hungary over a number of occasions, speaking to over 20 NGOs, members of the media, politicians uh, and members of civil society, and decided in her research that up to, there's been up to 12 breaches of uh, freedom of speech and um, threats, of course, to minority. And she believes uh, that this could really be backed when it's voted tomorrow in Parliament, even by some members of the European People's Party. And Fidesz, that's of course Viktor Orban's party, is affiliated with the European People's Party uh, in the Parliament. So expect tough talk this evening when at 6pm the EPP group will of course meet with, uh, with uh, Viktor Orban. Now, Maeve, uh, Hungary has achieved uh, this distinction, this dubious distinction of being named the least democratic country uh, between all the 28 members of the EU by an independent watchdog, Freedom House. How does what happened in Hungary affect what happens in the EU? Well, quite simply, the bloc is linked. And as you know, the European Union is not very strong when it comes to areas like foreign affairs or defence, but it does fancy itself as a cheerleader of human rights. So how can the European Commission point its finger, for example, at countries like Egypt and Turkey for their treatments of uh, the press, for example, when one of its member states is also uh, misbehaving? So expect a heated, lively debate today in the European Parliament with members of the Parliament like Giver Hoft at the head of the Liberals, finger pointing at Hungary uh, for mistreating uh, and going in the, in the wrong uh, direction. It'll be a lively debate, but Viktor Orban, of course, will be there at 11am speaking live and saying that the report of uh, Judith Sardentini is misleading.